Yeah, okay. That's a sound like grudge makes. Dude, that sound terrified me as a fucking kid. I, it probably did the same to me, but like now it's just like, how how is that even scary? Well, okay, let me run you through this scenario. I had a fucking fever, right? Like a bad fever, right? No, no, I was a child. This was like <laughs> fucking two thousand and fucking two thousand five, probably. I was a child, a little baby boy. I wasn't. So we're going shut to camp. Up. Yeah, we're heading to camp. So I we we're at Target and I was a sick little baby little baby proto, right? Didn't even know I like dudes yet. That's how young I was. I lied. I I knew. So, anyways, I was at Target and a commercial for the the Grudge came on on like the forty TVs they had. This is like right when flat screens came out, like right when they were the big thing. So Target had like a wall of ten of them, oh right? Oh my god! Right? Jesus. And the a no, commercial for the Grudge. Just thinking played. about that, like. Flat screens weren't the norm. Yeah, I was used to fucking CRT TVs, right? Oh like, my god. Yeah, you understand. I Thank still, you. Dude, I still remember my old CRT. That thing was fucking massive. It was huge! And that's all I was, it was used only to. only 32 inch and it was still fucking huge. Oh god, yeah. But fucking flat screens like were becoming this huge thing. And The Grudge had just come out in the U.S. because it was a Japanese-only film. I had no idea. I was a kid. And I remember I was at Target, and I was in, like, an aisle for, like, sporting goods or something. I don't know. And I looked over to my right, and there's this fucking pale Asian boy groaning and running towards the TV. And I didn't think much of it until I fucking went to sleep that night. And you know fever dreams are fucking weird? Oh, shit. Just, holy fuck. I was that having is a, a steep cliff. It is. This is the cliff that uh, Morningstar died on with, with Z. Holy fuck, I remember her horse's name and her name. Anyways, the grudge. Terrifying. And I didn't even think much of it until I went to sleep that night. And I had a fucking nightmare where I, I woke up in my bed like I thought it was real. I was woke up in a cold sweat panic and I went to go get my mom, which was down the hall. Because living in an apartment with a really long haul. It wasn't that long, but I was a child. Everything was huge back then. And yeah, of course. And there was a bunch of kitchen chairs in the hall. And the faster I tried to run down the hall, the more chairs got in the way. And I kept hearing the grudge get closer and closer behind me until I felt hands around my neck. And then I woke up. And I ran to my mom. And the same shit happened. Right as I was about to get to her door, hands went around my fucking neck. And that happened oh, like so you three had one times. of those recurring dreams. Yeah, where every time I think I'm free, and then I just hear, uh, uh, from behind me, and I start fucking running like a terrified baby. <laughs> and that's a story about how the grudge terrified me as a little eight-year-old boy. Now you Jesus know. Christ. Now you know. Now you know.